Security experts under the auspices of Association of Licensed Private Security Practitioners of Nigeria have appealed to government at all levels, Lagos residents and Nigerians in general, to always call the attention of security agencies whenever they notice any inappropriate behavior from anyone around them. They made a call while speaking with newsmen after its annual general meeting preceding the election of a new leadership of the association held in Lagos. The call is coming on the heels of purported reports of alleged infiltration of the sector by runaway members of the dreaded Boko Haram sect. They maintained that a trend poses great security threat for citizens if not nipped in the board. Another issue of concern is uh, the planned deployment to standby of standby force to restore constitutional order in Niger by ECOWAS. They called for the use of more dialogue to avoid any form of war because Nigeria is bound to suffer the most. We are going to go into a war. The bulk of the soldiers will be provided by Nigeria. Because some of them are said they, some of the other countries are said they will provide a battalion. A battalion of soldiers is no more than 800. So how many of them are actually ready to, to provide enough soldiers? And they need a minimum of 22 soldiers to go into that uh, offensive. And you discover that the other, the other countries may not provide up to 3,000, or at the most 4,000. We have some countries that are actually backed out. Ghana has backed out. We discover that more of our Nigerian soldiers are the ones that will bear the brunt. So if people are going to die, there will be more of us that are going to die. If, if, so it should be more of we should uh, it should be it should be more of dialogue, because you discover that in that country, the Western powers are going to unleash all their equipments, and um, don't forget that that country shares borders with seven northern states, and there's no guarantee that that war will not come into our country. So that's the part I'm worried about. We should come to dialogue with them so that we can see reason and come out of this mess. War. Nobody goes into war and come out of it. Those of us who have been born well enough, long enough, we know what a war is. We don't want a war within our neighbor, Niger Republic, but I think we can resolve it amicably. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.